Welcome back to the Trade Hacker Mindset. In this episode, I want to talk about the trade ownership hack. Trading the markets can be difficult to master and seemingly just out of reach. Professional traders have a secret. Trading requires total mental and emotional control. It requires the Trade Hacker Mindset. All right, so let's jump into this discussion of the trade ownership hack. So what am I talking about here? What do, what do I mean by this? Well, I've really noticed it a lot over the last probably six months because we've had a, a group of, a mastermind group of zero DTE traders who have put out trade plans and it's been awesome. I mean, it has been awesome. It's encouraged a lot of folks in our community to actually come out with their own written trade plan and that's, that's phenomenal. But the other thing that I've noticed is that there are some, some folks in the community who will, will only, it's kind of a herd mentality. They will only take trades if they knew, if they know a, a group of other traders in the community are taking the trades or only they won't take their own version of a trade unless they get acceptance from others that it's a good strategy. And so part of this is, is wanting to encourage everyone to really, you know, come up with your own trade plan, like a lot of you have, but also take ownership of the strategies that you're trading. I see a lot of people will reference, uh, you know, this is Tim Weiss's power hour trade, or this is Steve's AM ratio, or this is Dick K's, uh, whatever. Now, keep in mind, like one of the trades that, that Dick K kind of put out there as part of his trade plan, it was a little bit different than what others have been trading. And so I didn't really have a name to call it and just to, for easy reference. Now we call it the Dick K special, right? So the, you know, part of what I'm saying is a little bit contradiction, a little bit of a contradiction uh, to what I'm about to tell you. But I guess the point I'm trying to make is there, there's a group of folks in the community who don't take ownership of the trades. They, they continue to only want to trade other people's strategies. And so I want to encourage you to really try to take ownership. And maybe it's simply, you know, changing the stop from $20 to 19, or, I mean, it can be such a subtle little change, but that change then makes it not their version. It makes it your version. Okay. And, and I think the more that you can take ownership of the strategy, the more you are going to have confidence in that strategy, the more you are going to continue to trade that strategy if it has a drawdown, because you've done more in depth, hopefully testing, and you've, you've tweaked it to fit your account size. You've tweaked it to fit your trading style, your risk tolerance and, and everything else that we talk about. So what I, what I see people doing is in, in referencing that they're trading somebody else's strategy, it, it almost kind of takes the pressure off them that they don't have to take ownership. If, it, if it's a loss, well, it was just that strategy. It was that person's strategy. Now I can jump to another one. Now I can jump to somebody else's. That's not currently working. So I'm going to jump to somebody else's where I think if, if you have ownership of that strategy, if you take ownership of that particular trade, it creates a situation where you will work through and tweak and modify and work through drawdowns a lot better. Okay. So I, I think that's a lot of what it comes down to. Now, I, I just said that, you know, one of there's a trade that Dick K kind of put out there and we call it the Dick K special. And so it, what I'm talking about is such a subtle thing. It's such a, a minor thing on the, on the surface, but the, the deep rooted issue for not everyone, but for a lot of traders is that they don't, they're not taking ownership of that particular strategy. Now, one thing you might be wondering is why, why does it matter? I mean, if, you know, most, if you've been a part of other services, I think other people will do the opposite, right? They want all the credit for a strategy that they create and they name, and they want to, you know, be looked at as the guru and things like that. And I'm sitting here telling you the opposite. And I think the reason is, is because they want you to stay attached. 
they want you to think that you can't come up with anything on your own. They want you to think they, they want you to be dependent upon them so that you stay subscribed and pay them for their service. And I'm telling you the exact opposite. I would, I would, nothing would make me happier if that if everyone came up with their own strategies and we all kind of shared different things. And, and, and to me, that would just elevate the trading of everyone within the community. Because from my standpoint, I don't want anybody sticking with navigation trading because they are dependent on my trade alerts. I just, I don't want that. That is, that's never been the goal. That's not, that's not how I, that's not how I want it to teach. I want people to stick with navigation trading because of the community of, of traders that we've built because of the like-minded traders all working together to help each other become better traders, because of the camaraderie and the elevated thinking that all of us working together can create, not because you're dependent on me for the trades that I put out to the community. You know, I, I see it all the time where, you know, different, different services will put out just enough to keep you coming back but they won't give you everything. And I, I just think to me that that's just so ridiculous. The, the whole goal around navigation trading is to help people become their own self-sustained traders. Now, could we be bigger? Could I have more members if I did it the other way where I just gave you enough to kind of keep you in there, but didn't give you everything? I, 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 think, I think maybe our membership would be quite a bit bigger. But, but that's never been the goal. The goal is not to be big. The goal is to be the best and have the best traders involved all working together to kind of elevate each other. Now, I also understand we are all at different levels of experience. We are all at different levels in our trading journey. And so for somebody who's brand new and they're coming in and they're trying to still trying to figure everything out, you're not going to, you're not going to have the experience or the knowledge or the or the wherewithal to really come in and develop something brand new and, and share it and, you know, call it your own. I get that. I totally get that. But I guess what I would say is this is kind of something to work towards. You know, I, you know, I, I appreciate, you know, from, from one aspect, I appreciate people giving me credit, right? I have an ego. Everybody's got an ego, but I also think that, there's a difference between giving somebody credit for a strategy and not taking ownership yourself of what you're trading. And so that, that's kind of the fine line that I'm talking about here. So as you're coming up with your trade plan, as you're trying to figure out how you're going to trade different strategies, how about this? The first two times you talk about it, give credit to whoever it is that you, that you got it from. After that, it's yours. Okay. At least for me, I'm giving you the freedom to take what I've, what I've taught you, what I've provided, the different strategies that I've done. I'm giving you permission to not have to give me credit after you do the first two times. How about that? And keep in mind, my more experienced traders out there listening, th this is, this is really not going to be something that you have to worry about because you, if you've been successful and you've been experienced in trading, then you, you already are taking ownership of your trading, right? You don't, you really don't care what everybody else is doing. All you're doing is focused on what, what it is that you're doing. But this is really a message for those who can't, who can't get away from that herd mentality of making sure that somebody else uh, is okay with trading this before it's okay for them to trade it. And I call this the trade ownership hack because I, I really believe that once you take ownership, I mean, full ownership, full acceptance, full ownership, we talk about, you know, accepting the risk when you put on a trade, this kind of falls in the same line as that, where if you're taking full ownership, if you're taking full acceptance of the trade that you're trading, it's going to build a totally different mindset than if you are copying trades off of somebody else, or you're putting on trades and you, you're saying you accept the risk, but then when you get stopped out, you, you know, it's, it's devastating. This, you know, the, this game of trading, 
that we're all a part of, if you're listening to this podcast, this, this game of trading, as we know, it's such a mental game, right? It's such a game of self-awareness. And, and some of the things around the mental side of trading are so subtle. They're so subtle that you don't even notice them. You know, it's kind of like when you, when you talk negative, negatively to yourself, that negative self-talk. Sometimes we don't understand how detrimental that is actually, how, how detrimental that actually is to our decision-making process. But when we see other people do it, it's so clear, right? And, and that's the same thing here is that, you know, I, I, I can see it from the outside looking in where I think if, if somebody would gravitate to trading somebody else's strategy to now calling it their own strategy based on just a minor tweak that they made to the trade plan, to the back test, to whatever it is, that it, it's going to propel you to a, to a whole new level of trading. And, you know, I don't, I don't have any way to quantify this. You know, I don't have any way to uh, give you the data that shows wh exactly what I'm saying is accurate, that it's going to elevate your, your profits by 20% this year or 15% this year or anything like that. I just know it's another one of those subtle mental hacks that if we can tweak our mindset a little bit in that direction, it's going to move us that much further to being a more consistent, more profitable trader, which is what we all want. So I hope that was helpful. As always, if you guys have any comments or feedback or questions about this topic, always feel free to post in the Trade Hacker Mindset channel in our Discord community. Take care. See you in the next episode.